All right, lastly, now let's talk about extensions and the six must have extensions for any Salesforce developer. So I have this list right here that states out seven extensions, but yeah, the one is a bonus. So the first one is prettier. That's a code formatter extension. So if I take you to the extensions page, you should see something that's called prettier right here. So this is used for code formatting. And if you see down below, any anytime you open a file, you'll see the prettier coming down, coming down here and it will show you warning signs or whether your current code has been properly formatted or, or not. The second one is git lens. Git lens is specifically used for your VS code to be integrated with git. That is your version control system. And once you install git, you should see the source control icon coming up here and you can initialize any repository and you can also connect with github so once you start using git lens you should be able to see who made the current changes what commit what was the line on uh, which pr is this particular commit um, sustaining to or you know uh, connected with and you can also check your branches you can create new branches and everything in and out of git can be controlled through the sfdx terminal or using just simple commands and this source control dialog box right here right the next one is better comments so better comments is as the name suggests better comments lets you you know improve your code commenting uh, you can write good annotations you can write to do's and everything is mentioned here and you can also configure based on what your business or your um, organization requires you can accordingly you know annotate your alerts you can annotate your informational tags or you can also mention what kind of comments you want to put in for your methods or your apex classes top level inline level right that's about better comments the next one is an interesting one that's bracket pair colorizer now this one is not installed on my system yet but this is very helpful and very useful so what this does is uh, whenever you click on a bracket it highlights or you know it, it colorizes the brackets so that you can easily identify them uh, when we write a um, good chunk of code and there's the the code is in a, a code is you know not some lines of code but um, a good chunk of lines in that case these brackets come in handy you don't have to use the caret sign you can simply click on the bracket and see what color is the matching color down below and automatically understand okay this is where the bracket closes right that's about the bracket col uh, pair colorizer and then you have something that's called auto rename tags so this helps you when you are building lightning components or you are using html uh, so auto rename tag is something that helps you, you know automatically complete your tags and rename them correctly based on where you are currently positioned at right so if i were to go to any or a class let's say and if i were to just type in something right here if i just say dev so you see this is automatically complete completing and giving me the right diff command here so this comes in handy in such scenarios the next one is code spell checker which as the name suggests uh, helps you you know spell check your code and uh, shows you warning signs wherever you have a typo and the last one is salesforce package xml generator for vs code so this is used for generating a sample xml uh, remember how we talked about the manifest folder and the xml package xml file uh, to generate a sample you can use this particular extension that's available so if i just type package xml so i should see this coming up let me see what the correct name is salesforce package xml generator salesforce package xml generator this right here so you can use this to generate sample xml files and the entire process is, is written here and you can actually you know pick and pick and choose what you want to put in your ma in your file and all the co commands are available here so that you can configure your custom package.xml and use it for deployments yeah so those are the six or rather sab seven uh, six plus one uh, extensions that you must have alongside the salesforce extension pack which is a must for vs code to be salesforce ready so use this uh, plugins and uh, these extensions and there are a lot more extensions that are available out there whatever works for you is is, uh, is something that is a must have basically so if you see something like salesforce snippets is a good 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 uh, plugin to have wherein you can you know initialize lists and maps just by writing a small keyword probably 
so just take a look at this extension section and see what works for you and with time you'll be you'll, you'll become quite dependent on the plugins but uh, yeah they, they are very handy and uh, are very useful in the in for custom development